Malaysia is set to spend another $3.7 billion protecting its economy against COVID-19. At the same time, daily infections there continue to spike despite tighter restrictions. Melissa Go with this report. With the country now under emergency rule to contain the spread of COVID-19, Prime Minister Muhyiddin has announced further stimulus to cushion the impact. Speaking during a national address, Mr Muhyiddin said the government is hiring some 11,000 medical personnel to beef up its healthcare system that's said to be at breaking point. Frontliners will each be receiving handouts and monthly allowance. To help people with cash flow, the government, Mr Muhyiddin said, will make it easier and faster for contributors to withdraw from the pension Fund. Further debt moratorium is also being considered. To help save millions of jobs, the Prime Minister said the government is spending another quarter of a billion US dollars for wage subsidy program. I believe the resourcefulness, tenacity and resilience inherent in our true Malaysian spirit will serve us well in facing this great adversity. We will prevail. Now, also for the first time, a one-time cash aid of $250 is being offered to traders and hawkers. Now, their business has suffered as a result of tightened movement control, especially in worst-hit Klang Valley and the five other states. Another microcredit scheme worth a quarter of a billion US dollars is set up for small and medium-scale enterprises. But some vendors are not getting their hopes up. Tapi kalau macam saya meniaga sikit-sikit macam ni, saya tak berharap sangat lah nanti kalau dapat pinjaman tu lah. Kalau dia bagi, dapat lah. Kadang-kadang orang mohon pun ada yang tak lulus tau. Betul. KP 1 dulu tak sempat nak apply. So sekarang KP 2 dah apply lepas tu gagal. So sekarang tengah tunggu uh, proses rayuan lah. Former UN economist Professor Jomo Sundaram said more needs to be done to ensure food on the table and to support businesses. The, the problem is the quantum, okay? the scale of the problem. Um, let's face it, the, at least the first round, we, we do know that less than 2% of SMEs actually received anything. Um, but I, the, the greatest disruption is actually not even to the SMEs. It is to the micro enterprises, the family enterprises, the self-employed people who are struggling to make ends meet. And unfortunately, we did not have enough of a fiscal package. Now, economists have warned that a prolonged partial lockdown will hurt businesses and dampen an economic recovery, making it harder for the country to achieve its targeted growth forecast of between 65 and 75% this year. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.